Business Talks. Welcome to Business Talks, the region's only uh, local professional business commercial talk show lender host, and banker Ryan at McNeese. Mountain West Bank. Business Talks and is a young professional you here in our STCU community. And, and I, I mention that because uh, we've talked a bit about the fact that there is a changing dynamic mm -hmm. uh, here in our community. Talk to us about that in terms of uh, the Spokane market and the banking world and professional world. Sure, absolutely. You know, we're in a kind of an exciting time right now with within the business community and one of the fun things that i get to see is is that natural attrition that is beginning to happen in mm -hmm. in the business community where you have some of the baby boomers and older older folks that have been you know staples around town in the in their various industries starting to age out and mm -hmm. retire um, or looking towards retirement and and right now i get to work with all the young professionals that are starting to come up and mm -hmm. Uh, you know, take those leadership roles and, and, and everything. That are interested in these positions and, yeah. and moving up into the yep. managerial yep. Uh, positions yep. in the community. Absolutely, hmm. absolutely. Uh, give us a little idea of, you, it's a competitive market out there. Yeah. And your background is not only in high school, but also at the collegiate level in athletics. How would yeah. you relate uh, the competition, the competitive spirit, not only in you, but also within the business community, compare and contrast between collegiate athletics and in banking yeah I mean it's it's very true you you, mm -hmm. you have to be competitive in both um, I love getting out there and and competing for a deal and and ultimately winning the opportunity to, right. to take care of those clients or, or business or whatever it is um, you know I, for me it's you know, doing some research, some preparation, mm -hmm. trying to learn the industry, learn a little bit about the, the business, and trying to make those connections and, and relate. Um, from the collegiate standpoint, I mean, it's hours of preparation, whether it's, you know, lifting weights or training or, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So I really think that the success, it comes in the preparation. So Well, and you just mentioned even before the show that a particular transaction or deal mm -hmm. might take several months, yeah. year, et cetera, yeah. uh, which would be similar to preparing for the game or right. the event that uh, yeah. oftentimes the work is done right. behind the scenes. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, a specific transaction, um, ones that, that we've worked on in the past, mm -hmm. you might get introduced to the client, you know, two months ago, and, and we're still working to complete the transaction and fine tune and, and get everything done. Right. So. Um, it's almost like the off season, you know, doing all of the, uh, the, the prep, prep, the prep work and, and getting everything together, checking all the boxes, making sure that the final product is, is right. So what, what areas do you mostly focus on or, uh, enjoy? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I mean, obviously you enjoy working with everybody, mm -hmm. but, um, where I've really targeted and, and spent a lot of time trying to network and, and market to, uh, it's the medical community, uh, the dental community, mm -hmm. and then just kind of professional service. So the CPAs and the attorneys okay. and, and trying to fit in and, and be a good um, partner with, with all of those industries. I mean, obviously we have a wonderful medical community in Spokane and, and one that's growing, um, but you know we have the law school and, mm -hmm. and um, you know the different different schools that are starting to settle in Spokane and trying to to partner with all right. of those so it just seemed like a natural fit to to try to get into those industries and and work with those professionals well and so. I think you've done that and compliments to you I, I believe is it the catalyst magazine 40 under 40 or is it yeah that it you were recently yeah, in that 20 20 under 40, there I think, go. is what it was. Or I gave him like 40 that. under 40. But, yeah, I but, appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 20 under 40. Mm -hmm. So to be in that category, and mm -hmm. as you're indicating, to be uh, to have an opportunity to network within mm -hmm. the professionals, whether it be mm -hmm. CPAs, attorneys, uh, healthcare industry, mm -hmm. you have obviously put yourself out there, and that's being recognized. That's yeah. got to be an advantage to yeah. uh, acquiring new business relationships and new business. Yeah. I, th I mean, any time that you're – able to to market and network with, mm -hmm. with those types of people and, and the right types of people and get a little bit of recognition along the way it right. makes it makes those 
introductions a little bit easier. Tell me about, uh, obviously, your employer, mm -hmm. Mountain West Bank. Give yeah. me a little bit of the origin or background to Mountain West Bank. Yeah, so Mountain West Bank uh, was founded in Coeur d'Alene in uh, 1993. So we, are 20, we just celebrated mm. our 25-year anniversary at the bank. Um, and Mountain West Bank, is, we are a community bank, but we're part of the Glacier Bank Corp uh, family of banks. That was my understanding. Yeah, oh, okay. so, so there's several other smaller banks that roll up under, under Glacier. And really what that does for us, for me as a banker, is I get to go out and be really nimble mm -hmm. and be really creative and, and proactive in getting deals done because my decision makers – sit in Coeur d'Alene. They're a phone call right. away. They know who I am. They know the clients. They're in the communities that we do business. But we have the backing of Glacier, which is a $11 billion bank. So mm -hmm. we can go and rate and compete and, um, and, and price deals competitively and compete against the bigger banks. There's a couple of points, Adam, that you just mentioned there that, uh, that I think are, are very important and, and people do hear a lot, but I don't know if they mm -hmm. fully understand mm -hmm. two things you said. The decision-making process, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you're not, for example, having to call San Francisco or, no. or New York or mm -hmm. Dallas to get approval on a particular local deal. That no. is a big deal in the professional world in terms yes. of getting local decision-making. Yep. And a second piece you indicated uh, is the resources of the bank. Mm -hmm. uh, again, people hear that, and I think it's a bit of a cliche that we have the resources yeah. to accomplish this. Yeah. But banks that don't have the resource, mm -hmm. you see that actually uh, uh, become a prominent issue because you can finance and fund mm -hmm. the types of deals you're describing here today, the right. medical professionals, mm -hmm. attorneys, CPAs, et cetera. Yep. I think that's a, that's a big piece. Right. Big and piece. Uh, to be able to get them done quickly and efficiently because, as you know, mm -hmm. Time is money, right. and when there's a need, you need to be able to respond mm -hmm. very proactively and get those get those resources to the clients. Is it is Glacier? Is it out of Whitefish or is it it's uh, out of Kalispell? Kalispell. Yep. Okay. Well, there's a nice area to yeah. to be in. I know. Uh, well, that combination is interesting, having the Coeur d'Alene and the Montana mm -hmm. aspects of the business. Yeah. Uh, what do you find most challenging about commercial banking? We can talk about, and, and will, talk mm -hmm. about a lot of the positives and uh, relationship building and mm -hmm. interactions, I think, with the professionals you mentioned. But yeah. with that, mm -hmm. there are challenges to every industry. What would you say some of those are? I mean, challenges that come to mind are you have a deal and, and it just, for whatever reason, it won't come together mm -hmm. quite as quickly as you might want it to, things that are completely out of your control. Mm -hmm. um, you know that's that's something that you just you try to nurse these things along um the other thing you know, spokane is a very there's a lot of banks here there's a lot of credit unions and we're still really competitive um there's a lot of folks going after the same business the same deals we're a pretty small community mm -hmm. so um when deals come along you know a lot of times you have two three sometimes even four other banks that are you know, wanting in that essence, same, bidding on the same bidding business. on the same piece of business, which circles back to what you were just mentioning: mm -hmm. the competitive spirit, yeah. uh, the networking, the relationships. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what is uh, some of the competitive advantage or disadvantage between mm -hmm. a credit union and uh, a bank the size of uh, Mountain West? You know, the the credit unions have. I, I mean, I'll be the first to say they've. I mean, the Numericas and STCUs and some of the globals and, mm -hmm, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. They've done a really good job of coming in and pouring a lot of resources back into the community. You see them sponsor everything. Um, and, y you know, they, they're not regulated quite the same as, as banks are, so sometimes they can get a little more creative mm -hmm. with terms and how they structure a deal. Um, that's definitely a competitive advantage that, that they might have. Um, but from a, from a banking standpoint, I mean, we definitely have the horsepower to, you know, to maybe go after bigger deals. Right. Um, and w that's you know, true. So that's that's one one piece of it. Um, you know, with with Glacier, for example, uh, being such a strong parent company to us, uh, you know, we can get skinny on a deal if we need to, if it's the right deal. Um, Tell me, in terms of putting deals together, I, mm -hmm. I know personally you you have a, a great team mm -hmm. around you and the individuals yeah. that you work with at Mountain yeah. West Bank. Mm -hmm. Tell me how working within that team again we could throw that back to a bit of a sports analogy but right. but the team is important let's face it yeah. tell me how in your 
uh, specific uh, scenario, how working with your team uh, can benefit putting the deal together and building mm-hmm. the relationships. Absolutely. So, I mean, it, I'll, I, I might get the initial call or the initial introduction. Um, you know, it's my job to go out and, and make sure the deal is there. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of do the fact-finding mission, if you will, right. and, and figure out what the ask is, what, what, what we're looking to do. Um, at that point in time, you know, we collect all the financials, all the data. Um, I can talk through with my team lead um, or, you know, the folks over in, in Coeur d'Alene if we need to. And, and say, yeah, this is definitely something that we want to move forward with. And then at that time... But have, again, that's what you mentioned earlier. Mm-hmm. You can get from A to B on whether it can move forward we can get, quickly. Yeah, absolutely. We can get from, you know, if I have a meeting in the morning, we can get to, well, as soon as we get the financial package mm-hmm. together and, and move forward, we can say, yeah, we're ready, we're ready to move and, and underwrite this thing pretty darn quickly. So there's well, not a lot of layers that we have to go through. No, so. I agree with you, Adam. Pragmatically, that is a big piece mm-hmm. on, on both ends. You'd also mentioned earlier that sometimes pieces of the puzzle that are outside of your control, whether yeah. it be putting the financials together, tax returns, et cetera, mm-hmm. you can only ask so many times right. if the person that's trying to put the package together yeah. on, on their end, they got to yeah. get that information to you. Right. But once they do, mm-hmm. uh, as you've indicated, uh, you're not in a situation where you have to lead on clients because if there's yeah. something that's going to come to fruition, yeah. you can get it from A to B yep. uh, with the local decision making. Yep. Yeah, a, a quick yes is is just as good as a quick no. I mean, we have I to- I would agree with that. I, I mean, sometimes that for whatever reason, it, it's just the deal's not there yep. and we have to take a pass or it's in an industry that you know, we're, we're either over-concentrated, mm-hmm. um, we don't have room to, to do those types of deals uh, because of concentration limits, or it's just something that, you know, maybe trends are saying we, we want to steer, steer clear of a specific industry or specific deal at this time. So, um, well, and and you'd you'd indicated earlier that uh, b- being a part of the twenty under forty and mm-hmm. that type of recognition and the networking, you also have been a prominent part of being on the board of Spokane Hoop Fest. Yeah. Uh, yep. You know, everybody knows Hoop Fest, a big yeah. deal in Spokane mm-hmm. for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, massive uh, uh, following not only in Spokane, but throughout sure. the nation. Sure. And tar- starting tomorrow, mm-hmm. I think you're flying down to Vegas yep. uh, to participate in uh, discussions and admin for the three on three tournament down there. Yep. Yep. So I've been, I kind of grew up with Hoop Fest. My dad was one of the founding board members. That's right. Um, so I've literally grown up with Hoop Fest starting, you know, volunteering when I was four and a half years old. So takes you uh, back. it's gone quick. Let, let's so. take a short break and come right back and talk a little bit more about Hoop Fest and uh, the just different pieces of the puzzle here mm-hmm. in the Spokane community. Yeah. Thanks, Adam. Thank we'll you. be right back. Hi, I'm Larry Myers, owner of River Ridge Hardware. Welcome to our garden center here on the corner of Garland and Driscoll. We have fresh plants that come in weekly from all of our local growers. We can make your garden look like our garden. Here at River Ridge, we've been here 30 years. We're your full service neighborhood hardware store. This is our sprinkler aisle where my knowledgeable staff will help you put together your sprinkler system so it will make your yard lush green for the spring and summer. This is River Ridge Hardware's rental center where we provide a multitude of equipment for rent for the do-it-yourselfer. Next time you're working on your home or yard this spring and summer, stop by, say hi, and we'll help you get the project done. See you tomorrow night, and thanks again for taking care of the painting. I got this. Bye. Weekends are made for painting. Let the experts at Rada Paint take care of you. Hi. This looks amazing. Rada Paint, over 80 years of quality, tradition, and trust. Find it in every can. 
<laughs> Hello there, Internet. My name is Braden Magruder, and I'm just coming out of the Spokane Talks building, and I'm excited to bring to you guys a new announcement that I am going to be the new host of the Youth Spotlight program. Now, our old host, Colin, he's off to Texas Christian University to pursue a degree in theater and broadcasting, and you know what? That's great for him, but that's what I like to call adulting. And you know, I don't think that we have time for adulting with the Youth Spotlight program. What the Youth Spotlight program is here to do is to bring to you guys news, the greatest news of some of the most amazing people here throughout Spokane that are, what, just going in high school, maybe about to go into college, you know? These people are achieving life's dreams and they are so young. And I think that these are stories that you guys should know about. And I'm so excited to be bringing them to you. Now I'm a Spokane native myself. I've been performing throughout Spokane and various different shows. I just closed the show of Music Man and you know, I guess I like long walks on the beach, keeping my business attire while also keeping my french fry socks on close at hand. You know, it's going to be a great year and I'm so excited to be your guys' host. So tune into Youth Spotlight to watch me interview some of the most amazing people. Thank you and have a great day. Hi, this is Kurt Stockwell with Well Dressed Walrus. We are a local website design and development company here in Spokane. What we do is build beautiful, usable websites for local businesses. A website needs to be beautiful, it needs to be usable for your users, your customers, and yourself. Contact us anytime. We'd love to talk with you about your online marketing. I'm Jade Becker and I'm a senior at Chewila High School. I'm at STCU's Money Live event. In this scenario that we played today, I was a realtor. My spouse was a city worker. We had an 11 month old child and there was a lot of spending for that child, like diapers and formula and how to buy toys and clothing. <laughs> I'm very glad that I had this experience. It was super helpful. You need this to get far and ahead in life. I'm Jade Becker and STCU is here for good. The following is sponsored by our friends and community supporters at McNeese Wheeler Attorneys. McNeese Wheeler is a boutique law firm in Spokane, handling matters in both Washington and Idaho. Areas of law include business law, wills, trusts and estates, family law, personal injury and wrongful death, and real estate matters. For your full service legal needs, contact McNeese Wheeler Attorneys. Welcome back to Business Talks. I'm Ryan McNeese, and we're here in the studio with Adam Jackson, a professional and commercial banker at Mountain West Bank. And there were some technical difficulties at the very beginning, so I think we might have missed Adam's uh, initial uh, introduction, but we uh, are fortunate to have Adam here in the studio talking about commercial banking uh, and the professional uh, environment in the market here in Spokane. Yeah. When we, when we just left for break, though, we were talking about uh, your long-term uh, involvement in HoopFest, not yeah. only your dad being mm -hmm. one of the original board members and mm -hmm. uh, founders. Yep. So how how is that experience not only, I think you said you were four years old yep. when he uh, was a part of that, yep. and now you're on the board, and now you're yeah. traveling yep. to Las Vegas tomorrow yep. to participate. Absolutely. Tell me more about your participation in HoopFest. So, uh, you know, I started off, obviously, at four years old, kind of tailing my dad and mm -hmm. learning the ropes, if you will. Um, I've done everything from, you know, stuffing packets in the office the week before uh, hmm. to, you know, riding on the, the trucks and dropping, you know, pads and garbage cans and chairs and tables and everything throughout the whole event. And then a few years ago, I had an opportunity to increase my role mm -hmm. with the organization and was asked to join the operating committee, which is um, kind of a layer below the, the actual board and uh, become a year round volunteer. Uh, there's, there's a group of us that meet throughout the year and, and kind of take on different responsibilities and, and ownership in different areas of the, of the event. And so had the opportunity to do that. 
um, and have just you know really tried to take ownership. So I'm in charge of all of the the contests and activities that happen throughout wow. the uh, the weekend and, and leading up to it. So um, we have you know the Toyota shoot off is kind of the big uh, yeah it's the, a lot of fun the, the big event um, th- during the weekend where you know Toyota the the dealership is or dealers donate a car and we mm-hmm. get to give that away so that's a lot of fun but we have um the a free throw challenge for kids because they can't win the car yeah um and then we just started a um we brought on a three-point competition this year um we've had the family fun zone in the past for the little guys that aren't old enough to play but we do the inflatables and we've we've done that in the past and because of you know space restrictions and with the park construction we've had to kind of go away from that but um, so that's that's been my my ownership. I've I've had the opportunity to to kind of put my hands on and, and fingertips on on some of this stuff and really own it. So it's been a lot of fun. Well, and there's so many strategic aspects to Hoop Fest, as you mm-hmm. indicated back when you were four and a half years old and yeah. trailing your dad and yeah. uh, setting up at the respective uh, courts. Mm-hmm. Just a massive. Uh, mm-hmm. exponential increase in the yeah. size of Hoop Fest yeah. from the beginning to now. Right. So this being on board from a, uh, a year-long basis, the mm-hmm. strategic aspect, yeah. uh, it just m- must be basically monumental in terms of what you're trying to figure out what to do. It The, the level of... Uh, where we have to be mm-hmm. i mean to we i would say we are the best basketball weekend on earth and to to pull off what we do it truly takes an army of of individuals so um you know the board they 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 do a great job of kind of giving direction and saying mm-hmm. you know here's here's where we want to see the event or maybe move towards different opportunities um but matt santangelo and and the staff do yeah. i mean they're so tremendous what with the support that they give all of us volunteers um, to do our respective roles and, and carry out those specific tasks, so it it's pretty incredible. And then you kind of look back, right. and I mean, we don't we don't get to see, I mean we don't see it because we've always just kind of done it that way. Right. And it's like yeah, this is what we do. Although I have talked to Matt a bit about this mm-hmm. as well, and I'm fascinated with the psychology when you said it's the best basketball uh, weekend on the planet, mm-hmm. or I. I that actually statistically is played out to be true. It, yeah. it isn't uh, just an advertising mm-hmm. uh, puffing saying we're mm-hmm. one of the best basketball tournaments. Interestingly, and I think you yeah. uh, you guys have indicated, both Matt and yourself, mm-hmm. that it's played out that other very large markets, very mm-hmm. large towns, uh, have tried to duplicate it. Yeah. And for some unbeknownst reason, it really hasn't been duplicated yet. Right. Why, uh, why do you think that is? You know, I think Spokane's a pretty special place. Mm-hmm. And the community involvement when, you know, it, it's, I mean, it's kind of at a loss for words, mm-hmm. honestly. It's just, it's pretty amazing how um, we're able to ingrain ourselves in the community and I think giving back and, right. and that uh, that helps a lot and you get, this momentum that has just built for, I mean, we're going into our 30th year. Is it the 30th year? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And so, wow. but to your point, I mean, there's been other tournaments. There's a tournament in, you know, Los Angeles, and mm-hmm. it's been tried to be duplicated all over, right. all over the One country. One of the biggest marketing markets yeah. Yeah. in the country, whether it be New York City or Los Angeles. Right. And they, ha- they aren't able to do what we do to get hmm. consistently over 6,000 teams to bring massive you know, loyalty. Yeah. 200 and 50,000 people to downtown Spokane and, you know, millions of dollars of economic impact. Right. And uh, people circle it on the calendar, you know, year after year after yep. year. And, you know, the hotels book up years in advance for that weekend. Right. And until you actually come and, and see it and be a part of it, y- uh, you yeah. don't understand. And Adam, I think there's a lot to be said for that, that you can talk about it, but until mm-hmm. you feel the vibe of yeah. walking down Main Street or mm-hmm. uh, uh, Spokane Falls Boulevard and mm-hmm. realized the magnitude of the yeah. amount of people. And for me, and yeah. I think what we're talking about today, from an infrastructure standpoint, mm-hmm. a strategic operational standpoint, that's yeah. actually uh, mesmerizing because how you guys facilitate yeah. uh, right down to the porta potties for mm-hmm. crying out I mean, there's so yeah. uh, many pieces to this puzzle. Yeah. And year after year, uh, you put on a great show. It's pretty well orchestrated. So, 
in Las Vegas, tell mm-hmm. me how we've been talking about can other cities duplicate this. Yeah. So Spokane Hoot Fest is mm-hmm. tell me how that's working in terms of assisting and admitting, trying to pull this off in Las Vegas. Yeah. So um, the MGM, you know, MGM Resorts International mm-hmm. reached out to Matt and, and the staff at, uh, at in the office and said, hey, we want to try to do this. Mm-hmm. Um, we want to we want to run a tournament. And so, you know, over the past few years, uh, we've gone down to help to bring our knowledge and our expertise to help them pull off this tournament down there. So, um, you know, it's not as big. It's I think the last time I I saw any type of numbers, it was a couple weeks ago, but it was about 500 teams. 500 teams, and what was 2000 uh, summer of 2018 we, year? We were 63, 6400 teams. So unbelievable. And yeah, you're looking at a. Is, you know, Las Vegas, there's a hundred things to do, you know, on any given day. So yeah. um, I, I think that that's, that maybe is part of it where, you know, not that Spokane's a sleepy little town anymore, no, no, but you've no. just, we've built this massive loyalty. And yeah. so um, other cities and other markets are recognizing that and saying, hey, we want to do the same thing. You're the best at what you do. Help Come us out. help us. Help us out. And so. circling that back, actually, you as a professional commercial banker here mm-hmm. in Spokane, obviously your talents and the resources that you bring to the table in Hoopfest mm-hmm. is, in fact, what you're doing a good job uh, of here in Spokane, the banking world, mm-hmm. which, is, as we indicated, has been recognized uh, as one of the 20 under 40. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is, in our last couple minutes here, in terms of the kind of the temperature of our market in the banking world, mm-hmm. rates are there's uh, this idea of rates going up. How is yeah. that affecting our particular market right now? You, you know, as I mentioned before, we are a very competitive marketplace. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of a lot of banks, a lot of people out there buying for the same piece of business. Um, I was actually looking at at where rates have been kind of come over the last year or so, and we're about a hundred basis points mm. higher right now than we were a year ago so um that i mean for a lot of factors but uh, you know the economy keeps chugging along and we keep we keep staying strong but with that rates are going up and right and with the fed potentially bumping that up a mm-hmm. bit do you feel like that'll stabilize in the spokane market yeah what I, type of effect do you I see i think happening we're there? still gonna see a little bit of an increase okay um those definitely make for some interesting conversations mm-hmm. with with you know customers and, and potential customers um, you know, because we've been at such historic lows for the past few years um, right I mean the, to to get you know cheap money at you know four percent is those days are gone right um, but it wasn't that long ago when I was, when gonna that say, was kind of the going rate yeah so. that was, and we were seeing some of these similar uh, as the economy was mm-hmm. uh, on fire so to speak and yeah. uh, latter part of 2000s mm-hmm. uh, so uh, it'll be interesting to see not only yeah. in banking and other areas mm-hmm. uh, where some of these aspects of the economy yeah. proved to be well Adam uh, I really appreciate you taking the time uh, Uh, to be here in the studio today. Uh, The fact that you've been focusing on dental, medical, Mm -hmm. uh, professionals of all types, Mm -hmm. uh, I think, as you've indicated, this is a good market Mm -hmm. uh, to make those connections. You've done that, and uh, I look forward to seeing where you're going to go with this in the future. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Business Talks is produced in Spokane, Washington, by SpokaneTalksOnline.com, which is solely responsible for its content. Ask a question, recommend a guest, and hear this program again online anytime at SpokaneTalksOnline.com. Business Talks is brought to you by our friends at STCU and Well-Dressed Walrus. Business Talks wishes you good business and a good day.